In today's tutorial I will show you how to install Windows 7 in VirtualBox and this video will also be useful if it's your first virtual machine. But before you set it up, I always advise that you create the virtual hard disk, which is basically an enormous file that acts as the VM's C drive. And for this we will use disk management. Type diskmgmt.msc in the run box. The reason I don't want to stick with VirtualBox is the file extension. See, VirtualBox creates .vdi hard drives while disk management uses the .vhd format which you can mount in File Explorer and manipulate directly. In the Action menu, choose Create VHD, then click on Browse and write a file name. After you save it, click on the drop-down to select Gigabytes, then input anything between 30 and, say, 60 depending on what you want to do with the VM. Since I've already created my drive, which takes some time, I will select megabytes just to show you how it works. Click on OK and wait for the disk file to be created. Now right click on the disk and choose Initialize, then OK for master boot record. After it's done, right click and detach the drive. Go into VirtualBox and create a new VM. First you have to type in the name, and if you write Windows 7 it will automatically select the appropriate OS without you having to choose it. Now you have to select your ISO image, or basically the installation DVD, which is an ISO file. I will include a link to a downloadable Windows 7 image with all the updates already installed in the description below. You probably want to manually configure your machine, so tick the checkbox that says skip unattended installation, otherwise it is going to ask for a password, a key and whatnot. Configure your RAM, and if you've got 8GB of RAM or more on your host machine, you can scale up the virtual RAM accordingly. It also depends on your host system, which in my case is Windows 8.1 and it obviously doesn't eat my RAM as much as Windows 11 would do, so I can afford 4GB for the VM. Here's the disk chooser, you can select the virtual hard drive that you created earlier. Click on the radio button, then this will open. Click on add, then navigate to your virtual hard disk and select it. Uh, click on choose and it will add it to the VM. After that you're done and you can click on finish. As soon as you start the VM, Windows Setup will begin loading some files. I've sped up this portion. Click to install Windows now and wait another moment. Now you should accept the agreement, then choose Custom because you aren't doing any upgrades. Here you can configure your drive partition in case you will be dual booting, else just click on Next. Here is your partition creator if you are interested. You could also create a smaller partition for the C drive and then create another one specifically for your data. After this screen Windows will start copying and expanding files. Ok, time for the OOB or out of box experience. Type in your name and, if you want, a PC name. I won't be setting up a password, so I'll click on next. I'll also skip the product key. Now here choose recommended settings to later install any updates that might not be in your image. Next is the time zone, let me just find mine. Uh, after that you'll be asked for your network, I highly recommend you choose public network because you can always mount the virtual hard drive and access your files, you know. And after that you need to wait some time and Windows will load your desk.
And the final step is to install the guest editions. VirtualBox provides such integration drivers that fix the resolution, add a better mouse pointer, and make the VM easier to use. I think the installation is straightforward, but you'll need to restart afterwards. And that's it for today's video. I hope it was useful. For more in-depth tutorials, please subscribe to the channel.